Welcome, I'm Stavros Nostradamus, and today I want to talk to you about stop eating all your food. I know it's the exact opposite of what our parents and our grandparents used to tell us to make sure you eat all your food, don't leave any food on your plate, don't waste food. Now, those rules used to make sense back in the old days when we didn't have as much food available. And if you look at a lot of our parents and grandparents and how that we raised, you could see why they, they say that. Okay. Unfortunately, today though, people eat. We have abundance of food. People eat a lot more often than we used to. So, eating all our food, it no longer makes sense. Now, keep in mind, I don't want to say waste food either. The rule that I always try to uh, teach my kids and also also my clients is that if you're serving yourself, put on your plate half of the amount of food that you think that you can eat. You can always get up and get more food. Okay, because I do understand the tendency if you have the food on your plate, you want to eat it all. Okay, the one thing though that I want you to keep in mind is that what is the difference if let's say you're full, okay, and there's still food left on your plate. What is the difference between throwing the food in the garbage or throwing it in your mouth? Because if you're satisfied and you no longer need any more food, eating it, does it really save you anything? Actually, throwing it in the garbage, you can say that's the better choice because if you throwing it, if you throw it in your mouth and you just eat it just so you don't waste it, you cause more harm. Because the fact that people need to realize nobody gains weight because they eating a full dinner. They gain weight because they're overeating few bites per meal. Think about this: if you ate, overate each meal one or two extra bites beyond what you really needed. Okay, only one or two extra bites. That's around, uh, most people eat three times uh, a day. They shouldn't, but anyway, that's another whole, whole conversation. But if you overeat one or two bites per meal, that's around, again, of course, it depends on what you're overeating, but a conservative number is around 100 calories per day. Okay, do you know how much you, uh, weight you're gonna gain by overeating only 100 calories more per day? Around 10 pounds per year. And really realize this, that most people don't wake up one morning and all of a sudden they're overweight. The weight comes up slowly. That's because we gain weight because we're overeating one or two extra bites per meal. And that is why you want to get into the habit of paying attention to your hunger. And as soon as you're satisfied, no matter how much food left on your plate, don't eat it. Obviously, if you can save it for tomorrow, great. If you can't save it, then you're better off throwing it away instead of eating it. I know probably the hardest thing to do is when you're eating like a sandwich or, you know, cookie or whatever, and there's one or two bites left. What do you do? A lot of people will eat it. But the one habit I got into years ago is even if there's one bite left on my sandwich, if I'm satisfied, I throw it away. And that's something that I think will make a lot of sense for people to develop this habit of as soon as you're satisfied, no matter how much food it's left, throw it away. You're better off. Now, the other uh, topic that a lot of people bring up is restaurants. You know, that the portions in restaurants are very big. What do I do then? Now, the one thing that, uh, I used to be in the restaurant business, actually, my uncle used to own restaurants. I actually have a degree in culinary arts. I graduated from the CIA, the Culinary Institute of America. And uh, so I know a lot about restaurants. The portions, I mean, I know the restaurants are getting blamed for uh, part of the reason why so many people are gaining weight is because the portions are too big. Well, the question is this, why did the restaurants make the portions bigger? Is it because they decided one day to just increase the portions? No. The reason they increased the portions is because people demanded it. I remember um, my uncles, they had to get a, uh, a, uh, the portions for the french fries, they had to, to make it larger because we were getting a lot of complaints from people that it, you know, the portions are too small. What did you expect my uncles to say? Hey, you know, we're doing you a favor by giving you less french fries because you shouldn't be eating that much anyway? Of course not. Restaurants are in the business of selling food. To me, that documentary uh, Super Size Me by Mr. Spurlock, you know, he followed the rule that if the uh, teller behind the counter asked him if he wanted to supersize, he had to say yes. Of course the guy behind the counter is going to tell you, he's going to ask you if you would like to buy more food. That is 
what is there for? To sell you more food. I remember when I used to be a waiter. I didn't care how much food people ate. I would always ask them, would you like dessert? Okay? The thing that you need to keep in mind, now imagine for a second, okay? If you went to a restaurant, you ate this big meal, and then you ask the waiter, you know, uh, what kind of desserts do they have? And the waiter or the waitress turned around and told you, you know something, I could not really sell you dessert because you're kind of fat and you're already over eight. Imagine that. Of course, the waiter or the waitress is going to ask you, would you like more food? It's going to always offer you more food because their tip depends on it. doesn't make them bad people, by the way, but they're not in the job of watching your diet. They're in the job of selling food. So as far as uh, restaurants are concerned, take it to go. That's what I do most of the time. Or if it's a meal that my wife and I both like, we buy one and we share it. But most of the time, you could easily take the food to go. That's why they have the to-go to, uh, containers. And again, I'm not, a, I'm not for wasting food. But just because you ate it does not mean you did not waste it. And the other thing, too, is the um, uh, all-you-can-eat buffets. I still go to them. I have no problem with them because I, I eat by paying attention to my hunger. And to me, this idea, get my money's worth, what does it really mean? By eating more, you can get money back or something? So that's one thing we need to get used to is we need to stop paying attention to our hunger. To me, one of the biggest wastes is counting calories point of measuring your food. And the reason I say it's a waste is because how long can you do it for? A week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months, eventually, yeah, you burn out. And that's what happens to most of the diet that teach people to eat by counting calories, points, or measuring their food. To me, the way I teach uh, people how to eat is by paying attention to their hunger. And once you've learned to pay attention to your hunger, you never have to worry about counting anything. And the fact is, do all menus have calories on them? No. If you go to Europe, they don't have them. I know in Greece we don't. But the fact is, humans were not meant to be counting calories to eat right. They were meant to be paying attention to their hunger mechanism. That's why nature put it there. And to be honest with you, to me, uh, the way that I teach uh, proper nutrition, uh, as far as how much to eat, I teach my clients how to pay attention to their hunger, how to eat slowly and mindfully, and as soon as they realize that they're satisfied, how to stop eating. And that's something that can become habitual, which means you no longer have to think to eat the right amount of food, which is, to me, is the key to sustainable weight loss. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, also, if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section of this video. And please don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you for watching.